At the end of our shift, it's very critical that we do a thorough cleaning of the sweeper. This is going to make life easier for you. It's going to keep things uh, much easier to, uh, to inspect, to make sure we don't have any leaks, any hydraulic leaks. We can get to our grease zerks. If it's got to go into the shop for any reason, the technicians are sure going to appreciate it. Uh, best way, simplest way to be able to do this would be to pull into your wash rack, pull up to a hydrant to wherever you have access, go over to our hydrant fill fender, and remove the hose and connect to a hydrant. Once connected to the hydrant, we can come back to our fender compartment where we're going to notice that we have a yellow uh, handled ball valve. That, valve. that valve controls the flow from the hydrant into filling the water tank or it diverts it to a flushing system. Your machines are equipped with an elevator and a hopper flushing system. So we would connect to the hydrant, we would come over, we would turn the valve so we are no longer filling the water tank and diverting the water into the flushing system. Turn the hydrant on. I keep the hopper in the down position initially and I go to my second ball valve that controls flow either up and into the hopper or to the elevator system. I'm going to be in the cab, I'm going to engage my elevator, I'm going to run the elevator in reverse. Anytime I operate the elevator in reverse it keeps the center broom up and stowed. The last thing that we want to do while we're cleaning the elevator is sweep more material onto it. So run the elevator in reverse, this will keep your center broom stowed. And while you're flushing that elevator, it's also cleaning the front plate face of the hopper because the front face of your hopper is the seal for the elevator compartment. Let that run for a while. While that's running, you can open up your side hatch and take a second hose and start to spray off your hopper lo uh, load leveling device. It's critical that we spray that and clean that just as we would anything else that has a motor or bearings and is rotating. We want to keep that clean, make sure there's no interference, no wire, anything wrapped around that. Flush that from the side, clean it as best you can and do this daily. After we finish cleaning that, we know we've flushed the elevator. We can close the compartment up, come back over to our ball valve, shift the valve so we're no longer feeding water to the elevator, but we're feeding water up the red hose and into the hopper. Step back, let the hopper collect some water. Give that a few minutes. As soon as that's done, we can turn the hydrant hose off, get back into the cab, raise the hopper and dump all the water and any debris that can come with it out of the hopper and onto the ground.